Let's take a quick look at a technique for turn transition in the bumps. If we boomerang the critical section, you can see a few things going on. Notice as the bump begins to press my skis towards my body, I allow my knees to give in to this force. Hips drop back and knees move up towards chest. Important, this move must not in any way inhibit my ability to move across the skis. Instead, I commit to releasing my mass from the old turn and rolling my skis onto their new edges. As the terrain falls away, I pitch my skis forward in order to maintain contact. Take note of the subtle move of kicking my shoulders back slightly as a counterbalance in pitching my skis over the fall away. So if that is a technically strong turn, the next one, not so much, as I completely underestimate the amount and direction of force coming up from the ground. You can see here that I get my center of mass slightly ahead of the force line, which prevents me from absorbing with my knees, forcing me instead to bend from the waist. Despite my best effort to pitch the skis while reaching for snow contact with my legs, the entire first half of this turn is spent airborne. Worse still, I've not managed to correct my fore aft balance issue, and when the inevitable spike in pressure hits my feet, I'm pretty much folded like a cheap suit. Once I've given my lower spine a quick massage, I proceed to ski off in disgust, sulking like a child.